Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Akas. I am here with another tutorial. I have opened the same file where I left last time. If you have seen my last tutorial in which I have uh, set up my mechanical equipment, this fan coil unit inside the project. So after setting my mechanical equipment inside the project, what I did, I placed my air terminals, supply and return and then I did uh, this duct routing inside the project and today I will tell you how to do duct sizing in the rabbit 2017 so let's follow so before starting the duct sizing what we have to do is uh, if I will uh, highlight one of the duct over here and press tab one time and two time it will select uh, air terminals and ducts so I just need to left click from the mouse and it will select the whole duct uh, then I have to go from modify multi select tab I have to select filter and from here what I need for duct sizing is uh, duct fittings ducts and flex duct I don't need air terminals so I will just keep select from here say ok then uh, under uh, modify multi select tab or duct system tab you will find this analysis under analysis you will find duct pipe sizing so you have to click this one then you will find the sizing method you can size on the basis of velocity and friction so i will select velocity and friction it's a general rule for the design for fan coil units we need 4.5 meters per second is the maximum velocity we will not exceed in the ducts more than 4.5 meter per second so I will select here 4.5 meters per second and friction and the maximum friction that is allowed for fan coil unit is 0 0.40 pascals per meter so I will select 0 0.40 pascals per meter so just need to change this velocity as a design velocity of 4.5 and a friction is 0 0.40 pascals per meter and select ok so as you can see duct sizing is done but still we need to modify our duct as you can see this uh, one piece of duct we need to convert this duct will split this duct into different pieces because there is a one branch here, one here and one here so if you will go under uh, modify tab you will find this uh, split element you have to uh, select this one and you have to split this duct into different pieces after branches click here then click here then click somewhere here ok I will convert then press escape to cancel the command ok uh, one thing you can do is you can perform duct sizing on single piece of duct also for example if I will select this duct piece and I will do duct pipe sizing it will perform duct sizing same method 4.5 meter per second velocity maximum velocity and maximum friction is 0.40 pascals per meter say ok you can reduce the duct size again you can perform duct size here same method say ok again here duct pipe sizing same method ok ok if you will select this duct it will say 275 by 275 and normally you will not see this duct size these are coming in the even numbers so we just need to convert this into standard sizes so what I will do I will if I will if I have selected this piece of duct okay and under property palette if I will go down and see how much is the flow mechanical flow 174.5 meters per second okay 174.5 meters per second how much is CFN it will be 369.7 that is 370 CFM ok let me open this duct size or two for you ok how much 370 CFM 370 CFM 
uh, if you will convert this uh, into into the water column the head loss it will be 0 0.05 to the maximum head loss in the fan coil units and it will be 10 by 10 okay into the 12 by 9 that is the given number over here that is 10 okay now we are going to see this head loss 0 0.05 this head loss 0 0.03 that is calculated head loss is less than our specified head loss so we are in the safe range with 12 by 10 inch duct so we can use 12 by 10 inch duct with 4370 cfm for this okay i will select this piece this piece and this piece 12 by 10 is nothing that is 300 by 250 so we are good with this piece ok if I will see is this duct it's 350 ok no, no problem it's 400, 400 ok no problem again this 425 by 425 this is not a standard piece of duct size so we need to change its size how much it says mechanical flow mechanical flow this is 698 meters per second ok let me convert 698 to to be permanent 1478.97 ok go to duct sizer again 1479 ok 0 0.05 is the head loss say 20 by 14 or 22 by 22 by 14 ok 22 by 14 we are good or 20 by 16 ok see this calculated head loss is 0 0.038 this is less than our specified head loss 0 0.05 so we are in the good range so 20 by 16 we can use 20 by 16 is how much 20 cross that is 500 by 400 so we can use 500 by 400 instead of 425 by 425 500 by 400 okay so we are good okay similar method i'm going to apply for the second machine i need to hover my pointer in one of the duct it will highlight and press tab once and again press tab it will select duct and diffusers select it with the left click of the mouse then go to filter uncheck air terminals say okay again go to the pipe sizing Velocity is 4.5 maximum and friction maximum 0.40 pascals per meter. Say OK. OK, again done. Now, again I have to split this duct into different pieces because uh, one uh, piece, because after every branch we need to convert this duct. OK, uh, le let me go to modify tab again. Here you find split element, select it. Click here it click here it click here let it ok press escape twice to cancel the command again you will select this piece to duct sizing say ok again here duct sizing ok again select this one duct sizing it okay okay so duct sizing is done over here similarly whatever the size i have selected over here even number of sizes i need to select or oh, because the standard duct size 350 by 200 because the same uh, cfm or liter per second of the machine same capacity machine so same duct sizing okay i will do the same for this one that is 300 by 250 select this one change this one to 300 by 250 okay similarly how much we said over here for the last step is 500 by 400 i think yeah same we have to make this one 500 by 400 okay so this is how you have to do duct sizing in the rabbit hope you guys learned a lot from this video 
so in my next video i will make a tutorial that is related to how to add uh, duct accessories inside your ducts like uh, vcds volume control dampers and pi dampers and also i will explain in my next tutorial that is related to creating schedules how to create duct schedules and uh, how to create uh, duct weight schedules like this so hope you guys like this video thanks a lot bye